What's up ladies and gents, welcome back to another episode of my Byzantine playthrough where in the previous episode we did a whole lot of uh, not that much, fought a really strong war in an effort to break the ties between Spain and Russia. Uh, we did humiliate him however which puts us uh, back into you know over 50 power projection for um, many years to come hopefully. But uh, I'm not going to lie guys, I've been a little bit down in the dumps uh, when looking at our power projection because it's just a matter of time for it to diminish many games. Um, you know, I'm so over 100 power projection by the time that rivals become invalid that uh, it's going to last us a long time. Unfortunately, not really going to be the case this time around, unless we do manage to humiliate Russia or something like that. Uh, pretty sad in that sense. We kind of went from being so weak as the little nation of Byzantium with no valid rivals to too strong in, um, <clears throat> over the sh uh, not too long period of time. But our, our nation certainly looks better, and I plan this year to go in against, or next year to go in against the Mamluks, making our nation look much better. I cannot wait. We're also going to integrate Milan this episode. Really looking forward to that. But uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. Going to be trying to recover some, you know, of our economy as well as our finances here so RO access lim yeah we've got limited access here gonna go ahead and automatically transport around and uh, we can ac accept we can establish Sunday schools now a little bit of a uh, um, resentment here IRL for Sunday schools because uh, we don't we don't follow we don't follow the authority of the Pappy otherwise known as the pagan we don't we don't follow the so-called authority of, of the pagan Pappy on the day of the sun, all right, we do our own thing, we're like, um, we're bloody, we're kind of like Protestants, okay, don't even know what I'm saying anymore, all right, we're orthodox, but with that being said, seventh day, baby, seventh day, not the first day, get wrecked, damn Catholics, all right, get, fix your game, paradox, seventh day, not first day, you noobs, you pagan scum, heathens confirmed, paradox heathens confirmed, um, Deus Vault IRL Paradox incoming Alrighty Speaking of Deus Vaulting Really looking forward to uh, killing some fools Now that we've Teched up admin ideas Finished Doing well in technology And uh, just got some admin efficiency Feels good man uh, So after the Mamluks I definitely want to bridge out to Tunis and uh, yeah, we're going to be refilling our Milan Diplo slot with Morocco as our little subject here feeding into North Africa. Can't wait for that action. Trading in wine helps us out with our unrest. Beauty, mate. We're really quite stable because of that. Uh, but because of every other reason as well. It's nice to see a few little orthodox nations about, guys. Like, Razan hangs on still. Which is just seems miraculous. And Razan and Russia getting along very chummy. And uh, we got a, a little dude here as well. An orthodox dude. Interesting. I wonder if Russia will... He is claiming his land by the looks of things. He might attack him. And that might finally sunder the ties between Razan and Russia. After all this time. It's kind of a miracle that they are together. Now, our stacks are going to be just over 25 each, I suppose. Oh, jeez, we've got so many military points. Uh, development is going to be the the play in that case, isn't it? Alright, this is a good place to develop. So, um... What am I looking for? Oh my goodness, I'm having a blank, guys. <clears throat> Where's my little tab gone? I'm trying to uh, view edict. There we go. It's not stated up. That's why, you idiot. All right. Yeah, I want to develop that province. Um, I might state it up then. We've got no more exhaustion. Yeah, fine. A little bit awkward. I was like, where's my little tab to uh, view edict? There it is. So, 
So I want to encourage local development, which is pretty much one of the few edicts that I really appreciate, and uh, jam some military in there. It's going to be yet another place to build a, look at that, it's the best place right now, to build a barracks. Okay, clergy and nobility. I'm happy to appease them. And Milan is 100% integrated. Woohoo! Next month. Ooh. Ooh, production. Oh, man, that's actually. Oh, that's tempting to take this one, which I like never do. For that perma production. Ooh. So we're gonna do that instead, lol. It's gonna help our economy out out really nice to get some uh, extra pull. Okay, military dude left. Let's roll another general. We might as well do it while our army tradition is fairly high. Cool. Milan integrated. Excellent. So, unfortunately, I have to core up Sen Senia. Sayina. I don't know how to say it. I, I do know, but I forget because I'm an imbecile. Uh, if we do Tuscany. So, I, I might just wait on Tuscany a little bit. But each of those, I'm not sure about this one actually. Um, I know the other two extremely good pro um, territories. Yeah, that's not bad. Nice. Nice territory there. Alright, so I'm going to throw burgers into Milan, I guess. Ah, uh, no, I changed my mind. We're definitely going to be uh, collecting in, in Venice soon, though. Do you know what I'm saying? I plan to take out Venice and the Pope and Ferraria, um, needless to say. Oh, this guy's so easily attackable right now. But our power, our, uh, you know, aggressive expansion is fairly bad. Um, stop blabbering on, monk. I just uh, would like to collect in Venice. That's what I'm trying to say. Soon that will be available for us to do. Because currently... There's a lot of wealth there that we we should sort of be able to have access to, but we're not. We have a lot of control in Venice, but not collecting there at all. Alrighty. Nice. Sweet. So Greek has spread out here. I'm trying to actually uh, do really right by you guys who love loving the culture, guys, loving the, the old school Greek empire. Um, it's important that I don't make these Gothic or Pontic, even though we fully accept. So, uh, yeah, surprisingly, I'm actually going to make them uh, Greek, most likely. Um, because Greek is going to be accepted, right? Always, even once we form the Roman Empire. So, Truce with the Mamluks comes up this year. And I'm really looking forward to killing them killing them i'm wondering do we have uh did we get any navy from milan with the seems like three lights three lights better than no lights love it give us that money baby oh i love that control over northern italy that looks real good looks real good this border gore hopefully is going to be gone here very soon i would like to take all of this antioch and cyprus and all the way out to North Africa. <laughs> but I don't think we're going to be able to pull that off. We're going to have to make a bit of a compromise on taking all of those. Because, um, yeah, it's just going to be costing way too much war score. The admin efficiency certainly did help. I want to do this again in two years. I hope I remember. I would really like to take 150 here, admin. Because we're just in need of admin lately. Not too worried about the tax modifier. Um, 
and I'd really like to, yeah, that inflation modifier for 50% cost would be real good. Real good. Alrighty, this is probably enough troops to do the dirty against the MEMS. And uh, we have diplomats free. Oh, this guy expanded self autonomously. Love it. That's what I wanted to see. Genoa is pretty much dead arena -ed. Looks like Genoa has some pretty good core. We can't diplo vassalize them because of our own issues. But maybe I should just go. Uh... It's mainly that one, eh? 28. Hmm. Yeah, who knows? This guy could uh, wreck Savoy, but he's really running out of room. I was hoping that he went into the south of France and we get a nice little PU here. I was also hoping that he was sort of of the size that we PU him, and when our ruler dies, we just instantly inherit him. You know, if he's orthodox as our subject, we force orthodox on him. We don't ever have to integrate him. That was kind of my thought process with that little guy where we shared dynasty, but, you know, in the grand scheme of things, not working out that well and not that relevant either. Not too worried about it, but I keep seeing him. It's a little bit of a tease. It seems to do well, and it uh, gets me a little bit excited. I'm going to delete... Mm, yeah. Yeah, this fort essentially does the same job as Trebizon now. So I'm going to delete that fort. And uh, what's the date here that this comes up? October. Oh, it's the end of the year. All right. In that case... Let's do some drilling while we wait. Oh no! Shoot. We desperately need this money, man. Yet another loan. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. At least we get some army maintenance reduction. Okay. Drilling, drilling, drilling. Nice, we can just walk out through Austria, that's what I thought. Very good. Now we got some unrest in these uh, provinces here, but I think that faction is probably small enough to... Oh, slightly too much, still. It's probably worth spending three extra for that um, absolutism. Give me that absolutism all day. So a very stable country right now, which feels good. Truce with Spain is ages away, 10 years, but I'm really hoping to just, boom, take a huge chunk. Huge, well, if we can't take all of it in one war, I probably shouldn't stress about taking a huge chunk. But more like 50%, because we get truce time anyway. Nice. Russia's foot completely ravaged Sweden. I love that. Uh, anytime I see the Russian self-autonomous exp expand, it's going to excite me a little bit. Because it's all about that orthodox, baby. Okay, let's just take it slow right now while our morale increases and we bringing reinforcements over. Looks like he was drilling as well. I'm still staggered from like earlier on when the Mamluks were right up in our grill. They were huge. We hadn't taken a victory. We were so much weaker and they became an invalid rival. They were like the fourth great power. See, they're like the fifth now still after we wrecked them. And they're not a valid rival. It's like, what? We were the second, second great power at the time. Uh, we ticked up in he ahead of military at the time, and he became invalid uh, rival. So bad, man. Feels so bad, man. If we were able to go in on him, we would, uh, you know, be in much better situation, much more solid solidified with our uh, power projection. Yeah, not not that good. Doesn't feel that good. His navy is a joke compared to ours, which is good to see. Aragon does have religious ideas, dude. We could consider feeding him, like, some of North Africa as well. So he will be able to convert those Sunni provinces easily. But, uh, you know, I'm not thinking about that right now. Just thinking about the, the future. Let's 
so we did lose this i guess i was going to wait until we need the discipline for engaging but the manpower modifier as well just take it man we got plenty of patriarchal authority which is good and i should remember we can get the inflation reduction next year do not forget monk all about these victories here guys with this holy war cb of course that's the mountains fort which is rank four a little bit awkward i did want to take that as well didn't i but we've got too much we want to take from the mems that's kind of a priority so let's have a look here what is i don't want to have a colony so at the very least we take that okay that doesn't cost too much i would like to take recover antioch mission yeah that's a lot dude no and i want to take cyprus to spread greek here more efficiently but I think that's what we'll go for. So we don't look so uggo. Get rid of this crap. You know, we'll probably be just saving what, like, you know, 10 Diplo points? I won't worry about taking Cyprus. It's already sunny, you know. The damage has already been done. God did not will it. Ah, pretend rebels, because we got not very good legitimacy. Oh my goodness, my air is bad. No. That's not cool. Relations are maxed out with our two unions, guys. Life feels good. Aha, uh -huh. Crimea's a fort. Very nice. Okay, I'm taking it really slow. Because it's important. His tech's good. His army professionalism is probably more than ours. Because he's just been chilling. Sitting there and chilling. Um, it's important that we don't lose these battles, man. Got to be decisive, you know. I don't mind taking our time. As long as we win. Yeah, Aragon. Oh, no. Poor Aragon. He's going to get bad. Uh... He's going to get bad war exhaustion while he's occupied like that. Okay, we've got a queen. That's something. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I'm wondering if my... Via my queen. I feel like now we got an English queen, but he has a weak claim. Air here? feel like we have just increased our odds of PUing England, actually. This is not a nice event. This is because of our bloody reformed ruler. I think the machinery we're using right now is cheaper anyway, right? Yeah. No loans, thank you very much. Ah, oh, poor Aragon. I don't really think it's worth my while. I need to build up more transports, you know? That's actually fairly important. I've only got 18. Uh, we need to do a lot, dude. I need light ships as well. I need a lot to do with my money, which I don't have much of because of our stupid loans. Alright. Let's win some battles. He's completely isolated there. Get Rekoronid. And now... I feel like these guys are out of position. Let us destroy them! 
France losing some fleet, no big deal. I love it how we surround the Black Sea, guys. That looks great. And, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. A little bit of a nerd. I've done this so many times before, obviously. But when EU4 feels good, it feels good. You shouldn't be able to go past here, right? Okay, fight him, Woods. That's fine. We outnumber him enough. Uh, his general's garbage compared to ours. There's, I don't see how we could possibly lose that. Very nice. You know what? Because of this fort, he might actually be stuck somewhere out here. Oh, no way. I think he's just going to move straight to there. Nope. I was wrong. I was definitely wrong. That's fine. Either way. I was just hoping for a cheeky stack white mate. So we finally caught up uh, Transylvania. Cool. And let's convert it quickly with our five missionaries. Beauty, mate. That's actually really nice, for real. How many more missionaries can we get to, I think, right? Yep. Just sip it on my tea there. Yes, we can get two more missionaries, which is a lot. Obviously, if once we do form the Roman Empire, we will actually lose our missionary strength. Um, which is, you know, hey, France got the first circumnavigation. What a boss. You know, it's not ideal. It's not ideal to lose the missionary strength, especially if you're going for one faith. But, I mean, Roman ideas are bloody good, guys. It's, a, it's one of the only bloody good things about forming Rome. Somebody was commenting, why don't um, you have any accepted culture when you form Rome? I completely agree. And it, it's actually a peeve of mine. It kind of irritates me a bit. Uh, one of my opinions is that you should just maintain the same status instead of basically losing all accepted culture. I just think that's ridiculous. Like, for example, the Ottomans, guys, I mean, in their own whatever, Arabic language or whatever, they kind of considered themselves to be Rome, right? Because, like, the Turkish people only ever knew Rome to be, like, Byzantium. And then when they became sort of owning the same territory they were like we're rome uh that kind of is a logical approach to me like you you're just a greek rome or, a, or austrian rome or whatever it seems ridiculous that you lose culture but with that being said i mean this group here is called latin all of the italians are the latin group according to the game um and of course the romans were latin right that's the idea um, I would definitely say at the very least that the Ro the Italians are the most Latin people. It just seems ridiculous that your culture becomes Roman and um, you don't have like acceptance of, of Latin people. To me, I hate it, let alone mechanically. It's just ridiculous. It feels bad, man. Okay. How about we do some cheeky drilling here while we sit on this fort? This is my better siege general. Okay, let's keep doing harsh treatment. Here. Use my better siege general in this province. Switch him out. Drill. Drill some dudes. Which obviously reduces my morale, but... Worth. Oh, that legitimacy is going to be really nice for us. Great. Prestige is basically worthless. So, is it worth... We get yearly prestige. I mean, the bloody uh, prospect of a civil war is annoying. Ah, it's annoying. I really want to take that mercantilism, but let's get that 10 legitimacy. It puts us... Almost above 50. 
definitely helps out our um, unrest in general, just getting our legitimacy up. Oh, I should have done that before we, we got that cheeky bit of prestige. But either way, we gain a lot of prestige there. That's me noobing it up, I wasn't thinking. Dis disinherited our useless heir. We shall have no useless incompetence in our great nation. Okay, tech up for negative 10%. I love that. So. The thing is, guys, I'll... I'll Influence is so supreme in Constantinople. I have no intention of building any more uh, trading buildings there, but I will be doing it in Alexandria and other places. Yeah. Uh huh. Naples and so on. We should be doing that as well, but it's just not a priority right now. Oh, we could get 15%. 15% of 30. Maybe that's better. In Aleppo. Huh. Let's do a little check arena. Trade is at 40. Let's collect. I think Aleppo's the the weakest of ours, although we're gonna get influence there in a moment. Um because it goes to Alexandria anyway, which is worth a lot more. So it's a little bit of a hard call for me there, but I'm gonna collect what we're at. We were at exactly 40, right? Yeah, 40.33. Let's check if we can... Uh-oh. Okay, let's equip the right general there. Go in after the next month once we get some morale back. So my uh, merchant has arrived now. I'll just let this month tick by. And then, it was at 40.33. Aha, wow. Those are worth like 8 ducats there. Excellent. We're more than 15. Oh, of course, I didn't... Oh, it's whatever. I don't want to digress into my thought process there. I was just wrong. Of course, we get a little bit more. Great, okay. Cool. So, we'll be collecting here. And, um... Yeah, let's look at it like this collector will be in Venice and will be collecting in Genoa, will be transferring to Genoa uh, in the future. But in the meantime, we'll just collect there. So we basically have one merchant to work with, which at the moment is best to keep in Alexandria. But the idea is we'll just dominate Aleppo and Alexandria and nobody else will even be in there. And it will be, we'll be going into our coffers. <laughs> I do feel like we can get away with drilling at least one stack whilst we fight this war. Got to get some bloody army professionalism somehow, right guys? So we are going for the 100%. I guess... Yeah, I can make it to their capital, so we should... We should do that. Stop drilling this bloody army. Mamelukian dudes, but why? Is it the, the provinces which are occupied? Yeah, it is. Let's pull the occupation back and see if these rebels go away. Oh, Jesus. Nice. Cancel my movement there. Alright. that This reminds me... Not quite. Oh, wait, when can we do this? We need influence here, I see. Okay. There we go. Let's get that nice minister. Yearly inflation reduction, that will help out our economy in the long run. And, um, let's go for trade there. Rank 2 trade. So we've got five loans, man. Really got to pay these bloody loans back. At the moment we're getting 30 ducats a month, which is a lot. Go 
Clemson is just having a, a crazy spree, right? Yep, roaming around. Let's just let him do his thing though. I don't really feel like he can damage us too badly overall. Alright, are the Mameluke Separatists diminishing? No, they're not. That one's got unrest. I bet if we put our troops on there, we can get rid of that unrest. It's trying to fight us in the mountains, eh? Okay, change of plans, turn around. Oh, he's scared to go in. Perfect. I do want to prevent that rebel state from spawning, really. Yay! The mountain fort is ours. He's got another one here. But uh, that's a really good place to uh, fight if he walks into that province, the mountain province. For that reason, let's step off it, see if we can bait him in at all. Mamluk's uh, digressing. Very nice. And I'm trying to boost our absolutism one little point at a time. How's Aragon's War Revolution? <laughs> Poor guy. He's getting wrecked. Hopefully he can recover a little bit. That's brutal. Feel bad for him. 42 ducats a month. I love it. So that trade put us up by about 4 ducats a month. Definitely worth going for the rank 2 advisor there. He's paying off most of his cost. Which is good. Okay, let's block blockade Alexandria. Fort level 2 should be sieged down fairly quick, I suggest. We do actually have to win like at least one other battle to get to Kimor score. But he's just sitting mostly in the mountains here. Uh-huh. Alright, let's make sure he's fully committed. I think he has already fully committed. But let's wait another day. Catch him in the mountains. Perfect. Perfect. Except he's bloody faster than I am. Ah, uh, By one day. Rats. Okay, now I know to force march in. If he does make the same mistake, which he probably won't. French are utilizing a nice admiral, which is good to see. The other alternative is to just fight him in the mountains myself, which we could probably do, but I want to be sparing... Somehow we got war, uh, war score, is it from fighting his little ally? Our subjects versus allies. <clears throat> yeah, we might have to go over here and commit to him. Is this a dumb move? We basically outnumber him by 2 to 1. I think we can win. I think it's worth it, guys. The price, actually, myself. The price of manpower to get that uh, war score, but also ticking war score. We're just sitting here twiddling our thumbs. is not uh, ideal at all. It's going to take a while to get 100% uh, at that rate, you know. This, that would have made it much more decisive, in my opinion. Never feels good charging into mountains like that, but it's for the betterment of uh, hurrying this war along. Poor Ethiopia got wrecked. Wow. Looks like he's got a lot of reconquest, though. I wonder if we could um, vassalize him. What's Yemen's diplomacy like? Is he guaranteed? No, he's not. Good, good, good. Uh, yeah. Looks like Ethiopia's reconquest is uh, pretty nice. Interesting. We do have a diplo slot. 
which I intended to fill with Morocco, but... Okay, let's lose even more prestige. Dude, we never fabricate claims, though. I should have just taken the spine network. My bad. We don't have negative one to roll, so we'll be just fine once our reinforcements make it in. Uh-oh. I like all my advisors who died. My discipline! No! I am intending to upgrade my... Advisors, so that they're all rank 3, but, uh, first paying off my loans, though. Alright, he's very close to accepting peace, which is geared, real geared. Try to take his uh, cash as well, every little bit adds up, I reckon. Oh, got some nice buildings to make now, guys, since we, um, stayed it up a lot more land well one one region in turkey but of course italy as well just the big stuff okay military points are capped can we do nice some harsh treatment How would you say C and E's, guys? Did I do it right? I doubt it. Okay, we'll just do that for now. Maybe Valachian rebels will progress and we can uh, harsh treatment them. Um, we're doing better on our manpower, guys. I hope you're happy. Everybody's obsessed with manpower. Man, so many of my challenges that I do from my own experience playing the game, I, I'm just so... It's so grim. My whole game is so grim. Uh, I'm constantly trying to keep other threats down, keep my power position up, etc. We so often just operate on uh, zero manpower. Uh-oh. Influence on the clergy. Alright, so he'll piece us out. That's one hundo. Let me think. That's our mission to complete. Yep. That's the bare minimum, really. I want CP against uh, Tunis, and I don't want to have a colony. Because I don't have many transports right now. That's the bare minimum. So, with that being said... I guess that puts me closer to Mecca, even though it's it's insignificant. It really is insignificant. This is part of the same area of Jerusalem? No, it's not. Yep, it's insignificant. Alrighty. Feels good, man. Big chunk of land. That's the um, smartest province to take. I'm surprised we actually fit that in. That was perfectly 100%, so feels great. Now let's see how our admin looks. Nice, plenty of admin to spare. So this is a pretty good uh, moment to state up provinces, I would say. Nice, 50 admin room. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so all we have to do is convert them now. Nice, I'm glad that... Oh, recover Tunis though. <gasps> oh. Hopefully we'll get recover Tunis afterwards. Um, I'm glad that I took um, Claim Antioch or whatever it was called because now we do have this mission as well. All we have to do is convert them, so that will obviously be done in no time. Just got to convert, uh, core them up and then, you know, go. But that Byzantium looking really nice, lads. Really nice. I can't wait for my truce to be up with the Mamluks once again. Uh, the distance between borders is going to make this quite difficult. Apparently his economic base as well. So, yeah, our influence in Alexandria jumped up a lot. And he's still collecting in Alexandria. Very good. That was a little concern. Because sometimes it can dramatically weaken the node. If they sort of uh, bail out of the entire trading region. Alright. 
not a big fan of many of these forts nowadays. So keep an eye on that. And I think in about 10 years, 15 years, we can begin integrating uh, Austria. Very cool. We could do Austria before France. We need Vienna to form Rome, of course. Now, I think for now I won't use my slot on Ethiopia. We'll use it on Morocco. This is my thought process. Oh, wow. QQ pulled the... No, he's guaranteed. He's guaranteed. Okay. I thought he pulled the alliance again. Look at Russia just guaranteeing everybody that he wants to expand into. Oh, nice. He took much, many more than his claims. Well, about four or five more provinces than his claims. But nonetheless, good job, Russia. Love it. Take over the world, baby. Insult that guy. I think he's probably afraid to attack us as long as our manpower's up, etc. He doesn't really have any allies he could call in against us, so... Oh, we can see Asia very nicely, which I haven't really taken a look at, but the Ming plosion has definitely occurred, and the Ming would very much be a, a very good subject by the looks of things right now. Um, yeah, he's 160, so he probably... Well, definitely with, like, imperialism. Uh, I hope he hangs on a bit. He doesn't really look like he's got the diplomacy to really hang on, unfortunately. But I hope he hangs on and doesn't lose his cores via returning, revoking cores, you know. Uh, because he would serve us as a really good uh, subject in the late game. Okay. Yeah, there's not much opportunity at all PU in England, by the looks of things. So before we remove this edict, I'm just looking around to see if we can spend some military points here. God dang it. All this harsh treatment is too expensive. And then, no edict. Righty, developing feels good though, man. Unfortunately, I feel like uh, Diplo is actually the best sort of to develop. But uh, there you go. Speaking of which, why don't we um, develop this up? I think I will do that. We've got our universities up and running, which is very nice. And uh, we almost have a uh, this one completed. So I think, yeah, let's wait till my... Wolfsland's at zero, and then I'm going to state up some provinces right now. But, um, I want to encourage development here, and uh, make this, this province great. I'm doing Diplo like crazy there while it's cheap. Okay. Cool. Now that is going to be it's so wealthy there that I think it's probably going to be worth just building those buildings even though we're in debt. When I build the manufactory there, we're going to be rich in that province. Try to sort out my composition a bit now. Whilst we're at peace and uh, stop suffering such bad attrition. I'm trying to rush over here to the farmlands, guys. Now this is also uh, spices. It's quite nice in Alexandria. We still have separatism in Syria, so I cannot convert up the lands just yet. Hmm. Look how much money there is in Aleppo. Oh, it's it's hard call, but I think maybe. Okay, let's do a little experiment again trades at 42 it obviously lessened guys because our influence over alexandria lessened when we uh, went to war like that uh peace down i mean 
I want to find, we're at 42, what was it, 42.6. Let's just do an old school test arena to see. If it's worth more. The easiest way to do our composition. The lazy way. Oh, nice, let's get some diplo points there. Alrighty guys, well, I'm going to state up some provinces here, and, uh, yep, all solutions down, and that's going to be an episode, so let's see what is our best state, Tuscany, unsurprisingly, some of which won't cost us anything, very nice, Tuscany of course is absolutely sick, very good. You know, we, we still don't even have these two provinces, which were 16 and 26. Amazing state there. Let's add that to the burgers and that to the burgers. That will actually imp increase our economy a little bit. Alrighty, what is the next one? East Adri Adriatic. No idea where that is. I think you can search them, can't you? Oh, wow. Okay. Obviously, have no idea um, where the Adriatic Sea is, by the way, which I think is a sea, right? Yeah. Um, cool. Okay. In the Balkans, I like that. We can convert this up to Greek. So be it. Nice textiles there. Textile manufacturer you can build here in the forest. I'm keen to do that in the future. We've got 10 more beautiful men um let's have a look what's the next one okay two textile manufacturers nice yep love it that's going to put our production really high well that's it guys i'm actually not going to do more because i plan to expand more you know tunis has increased coring cost so we're going to do it when we have an abundance like that of um, admin. But let's have a look at our... Oh, actually it didn't increase as much as I would have thought. If we had better economy, we could increase our force limit this way. But uh, we're getting some splendor at least. Of course, going for the yearly absolutism and then the admin efficiency after that. We'll get this potential for a large army uh, fairly soon. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we're not suffering attrition here, I hope. What I can do is transfer this automatically elsewhere. We don't need everybody here. And we're all standing in the farmlands. Or just walk. How about that? Uh, I should be drilling everybody. Doing some harsh treatment while we wait on the cheap ones. And uh, yeah, that's it guys. Really looking forward to going to Tunis. I want to complete this uh, mission here. Get the uh, Prestige and the Pentiarchy event. Whatever that is. Uh, then we, yeah, get claims on Tunis, I think, if we take Recover Tunis. Uh, really looking forward to that. Look at that Byzantium, guys. Starting to feel really good and hopefully going to just cascade and uh, explode with uh, meteoric f f furiosity. Did I do it? Did I say big words? Uh, in the future. Yeah, next war, guys. Tunis uh, vassalize Morocco. Awesome. Truce comes up with Clemson. Uh, reconquest on behalf of Morocco. Really looking forward to reconquesting in five years into Spain as well, who hopefully has not allied Russia. Sweet. Looking forward to that. Big stuff. Our subjects are going to be great, exciting stuff. I hope you uh, enjoyed. I'll see you next time.